How Stuff Works Now is in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest 2016, and there are a ton of things going on here. There are films, there's music, and there's interactive. That's all the technology stuff, which is why I'm here. One of the biggest topics going on right now is all about robots and AI. They've got ranches full of robots. They have kinetic sculptures of robots, and I got to go see a panel called one robot doesn't fit all. This panel had really interesting conversation about how robots can be really good at specific tasks. The problem comes in when you try and design a general purpose robot to do lots of stuff. The more things you add, the less well it can do those things. More interesting than that was the idea of human-robot interaction. How can we design robots to interact with people, and how can we make sure those interactions are meaningful and don't get in the way of things? One really good example of robot-human interactions that can go wrong was given by Layla Takeyama. Layla was talking about how she used to work in an office where robots would try and learn how to maneuver in indoor environments and sometimes they could get stuck. They might stare at a doorway and try to figure out how the door works. While we humans can quickly grasp how doors work based on one experience, robots aren't really good at doing that. She said the real problem was she never knew that's what the robots were doing. They were just cluttering up the hallway. What if you designed robots that actually indicated what they were doing so you didn't interrupt them? For example, you teach this robot that whenever it's about to open a door or it's trying to figure something out, it scratches its head. These are social cues that we humans know automatically, but robots don't. So you have to program that in so that we humans know what the robots are up to. In fact, Wendy Ju said, this is incredibly important. If you do not have the robot indicate what it's doing, it might be doing something sneaky. That means we humans may not trust robots. Now guys, this is just one example of the sort of think tank stuff going on here at South by Southwest Interactive. I'm gonna check out a lot more of it, so make sure you keep coming back to now.howstuffworks.com to learn about all the coolest stuff coming into the future right now.